guys, it's Nikki and welcome to this week's plan with me in my B6. I am planning for Christmas week um, and I've got currently sitting here this I think this was like a $5 Friday kit that she did maybe, or maybe this is just a regular mini kit. I'm not too sure, but this is from Samantha May Sticks. So there are three sheets and then this sheet of foiled bow headers. Um, I don't have my normal inserts for this because I gave them to Rowan. I set her up with a TN and she wanted... I'm trying to get some of this out of here. She wanted the inserts that I had. So I just gave her those because I knew I could print some for myself. But I haven't actually printed any for myself. So I am now um, with weird inserts or, well, weird for me. They're not weird. But anyway, so I'm trying to find my gold weekend banners from Rose Colored Days. There they are. So like I said, I've got this kit from Samantha May Sticks. I'm going to grab these from Rose Color Days. And then also I've got just a little stack from our shop of some things that I might use. And then I basically just don't have anything together right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out just in case. These little cleaning icons, they're kind of like holographic. Um, and then I've got one of our icon sheets over here. So I'm having a hard time using these because I can't print more for myself. So I'm going to keep it there and maybe I'll use it. I, I don't know. Like I feel bad using it since I'm having them made. But anyway, so the inserts that I currently have that it's going to throw off my whole everything. I already know it. Oh, I don't want to use these. Okay, so these are from Jacinia Printables, and they've got the horizontal week over here, and then it's the week on four pages, which is fine, but I don't need this much space in this planner. So I'm going to try to find some different inserts because I really don't want to use these. These are the ones I tried to give Rowan, and she was also like, uh, no, I don't want those. Um, just because I'm using a smaller kit. If I was using a mini kit, I would have no issue with these, but I really don't need the room this week either. Um, I don't have a plan, which you guys will hear about in just a second. So I'm going to go try to find some different inserts and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So because I'm strange, um, I have the first week in these. I've actually used up everything else in this pack, but I've got the first week unused and I've got the last week unused. So I'm going to use these instead because um, I do keep these when I'm done. And I'm going to use the last week. So I'm going to go ahead and get this planner out of my way. I do want to open it to what I have written down for this coming week and I actually don't have everything written down yet but like I said a second ago it's gonna be a weird week um, obviously with it being Christmas this week I just don't have ew ew I don't have much of a plan so oh there's ink all over this now it's all over me great anyway so I don't have too much of a plan it's gonna be a lot of cutting and whatnot um, but we're doing like really well right now with orders. Ugh, this is so gross. So yeah, this week's just going to be kind of like, uh, Oh, do I have two weeks in this? I do. I have two weeks that haven't been used. So we'll start on this one. Um, I've got some washi here as well. This is just simply gilded. It's like a dark red with gold as well. And I've got the larger as well as the smaller. I don't know if I'm going to need this, but if I do, it's there. So now that I've rambled for five minutes before starting planning, um, I want to, like I said, use this mini kit and I don't think there's any washi in it. There is not. So that'll be good that I've got washi sitting next to me. Um, what do I don't have scissors. Can you tell how well prepared I was to sit down and film this video? Knocking everything over. Okay. Anyway, so I did, um, purchase a horizontal happy planner today. I had decided earlier this morning that I wanted to get a horizontal planner for some stuff for work, um, for the upcoming year because I feel like having the B6 and the inserts is great and all, but what I really needed was something that isn't being replaced very frequently. Um, and the B6 inserts, I'm gonna do this all the way to the edge. 
The V6 inserts, I love and I do use them all the time like you just saw, but I need something that I can really plan like very far out in advance in. Um, a lot of the stuff that is going on like behind the scenes in the shop has to be kind of like scheduled out decently far in advance. So I could do that in the monthly of the vertical, but that doesn't really work for me. I need to be able to kind of like make lists and have just certain things written down. So I was going to purchase an Erin Condren horizontal, but when I went and looked, I thought they used to have like a ready to ship option where the inside you could still pick what you wanted, but then the, I don't know, the cover, I guess, was just a plain cover, which would have been fine because I would switch the color on or the cover on it anyway. I couldn't find that. I found one that was called Good To Go and it was just a colorful horizontal and you didn't get any other options. So um, as I was driving around buying Christmas presents three days before Christmas, because that is how much I have procrastinated, um, I was driving to Target and there's a Michaels right there and I thought, hey, let me run in and see if they've got a horizontal happy planner. And all of the um, planning supplies were 40% off. So that was, I think I got the planner plus a little budget planner pack for it for $22 with like tax. So really good deal for that. Um, I need some more washi, so I'm gonna grab that really quick. Okay, I just dumped my entire this into the floor. <laughs> anyway, um, grabbed this roll from Simply Gilded. This is like a dark green. I don't know what sets either one of these came out of. Um, anyway, so I picked up a horizontal happy planner plus the little budget pack for it, which I don't know if I'll end up using that or not, um, but possibly. So I thought it would be something good to have. And like I said, they were 40% off. So I've not had a happy planner in a while. I had bought one of the mini ones a while back and I actually did use that one for a while. Um, but I've not had like a large one since probably like, two, I want to say 2015. The, um, I, I didn't open it in the store because they keep them like kind of wrapped up. But when I got home, I opened it and the paper quality in that happy planner is like, in my opinion, at least a hundred times better than Erin Condren's paper quality. And it was only like $20. So I don't know. Um, I know that the sizing is different for the full boxes and everything on Happy Planners, so I don't think I would like totally replace my Erin Condren, but I feel like, I don't know if it's that Erin Condren has changed. I mean, I know they've changed their paper because this new paper I'm not a fan of. Um, I don't, I can't remember, is it recycled? Is that what they said that made the difference in how it felt and smelled? I don't like how it smells, but... That's kind of, that'll be okay. Um, anyway, so, but the paper in the Happy Planner feels really good. So I'm pretty excited for it and it's pretty basic. It's just um, a horizontal layout, which isn't really my thing, but I planned on using it as all pen anyway. So I think it'll work out nicely. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys that if you want. You know, I grabbed this weekend banner, but I can't use that in, this, in these inserts. So I'm gonna put this back. So I'm not going to set it up anything crazy. Um, it's literally going to be all pin and it's just so that I can plan like pretty far in advance on some stuff that we're doing and have something that I can look at. So they did have a, are there date covers here? I don't think so. No, no. Um, anyway, so they did have a normal, like what I would consider a normal size, which is like an Erin Condren size. But then they also had a massive, planner like a massive happy planner that was gosh I don't know it's, it wasn't like double the size or anything but it was pretty big and I had a hard time finding a horizontal I got I think the only one they had that was the smaller size and then they had a couple that were that really big size but they were like I said 40% off so I think that's why um, but yeah I'm excited to try that out and use it um, I like the Erin Condren for the coil. I really like having a coiled planner that I can like flip and everything. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of how the Happy Planner has the, what are they, the discs? I feel like things fall out of that really easily. 
Um, but I do like that I can insert things into it, like that budget book planner thing. So we'll see how it works. And um, if it's something I end up using, maybe I'll do like a flip through of it and show you guys how I'm using it. But I do, why are the, I keep putting these so off, but I do um, still plan on using my V6. It's just a lot easier for me to have something that goes super far in advance for what I need this for. So I don't have date covers, which is fine. This is a, a mini kit. Um, and I don't think it was even a mini kit. I think it's something like even smaller than that that she does. There were headers. I'm probably not going to be using either one of those. I probably won't use anything on this sheet actually. Maybe some of the bows. Um, and then we've got 369 full boxes. And these do have some gold. I've got you guys so out of frame. I'm sorry. Some gold foiling. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. So these headers are super cute. They've got the bows all the way across. Um, I just dumped my um, whole thing over, like I said. So I don't know if I'll be able to find my date numbers. But I'm going to try. Okay, so I found them. Um, for these inserts, I feel like the script is really pretty anyway, so I'm not going to try to find um, anything to cover that with. And then I do have these, which are light gold, but that'll be fine. Um, and I'm going to... Why? Okay. Why am I missing the 27th through the 30th? But I have the 25th and the 31st. Dear Lord, I'm having a hard time today. So what I'm going to do, these are all oops stickers in here that need to just be packaged. These are gold. I'm going to grab this oops sheet. And actually, while I'm in here, are those gold? Yeah, let's grab those. And what else is in here that might be useful? I think I've already got a couple of these pulled out. Okay, these, I think that the two of these will be in. So, let me put that back into the floor. I need to actually put together the oops bags. I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. Um, so, for, let's see, the 25th is, I need to, the 24th is Monday. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Okay, so date numbers um, are in, and let's just get started, I guess, on the week. I think what I want to do is put down my full boxes. So I did, out of a different oops pile that I've been working off of, have some of these right here that I think I want to use because some of these full boxes I think will look really pretty with this over top of it. So <clears throat> I want to take the first one that is more of a quote box and stick that sort of in the center of just the rows and then right here I'm not I don't even I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna get my full boxes down and then figure it out it has been a week like it has been such a week you guys um anyway so I think what I'm gonna do next is let's do this blue and then I'm gonna do the pattern floral on oh wait I'm wrong so I'm gonna switch these I'm gonna do this blue on the 26th and the patterned floral on the 25th so that I can do one of these full box overlays that says um, Merry Christmas on it. So, and now that I have seen what I've got here for these and these, I'm going to go back into my oops pile and get a different one that says Merry Christmas, I think. Okay, so this is just a different sheet of these. So this one, I want the um, this Merry Christmas instead of this one, right? Yeah. And then I might use I might use a couple of these other ones as well because I think they would look pretty against some of these boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Oh no, there we go, and just put it right there. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's super cute. Um, and then for this one, actually, if I had something, I probably don't. I was gonna say if I had something small enough, it would actually look really cute in there, but. I don't think I do. So let's continue. Um, for this next one, let's do, okay, so I wanna do another dark blue. I wanna make sure that I put in this right here. So let's go ahead and do that one. And then I'm going to do this darker blue 
right there and I didn't start up here like I would normally so that I could make sure that I was doing everything right but that's okay um, I think I want to take this merry and bright one or do I want to do yeah let's do merry and bright and I'm gonna put that on top of oh my goodness I keep doing that e oh no okay oh boy I may have messed that up too much I may have to pull that back up um yeah okay so this box is okay but you can see I got some of the ink on this I'm gonna go ahead and not use that one now so how about I really like the don't get your tinsel in a tangle one, but that's the one that's messed up on that sheet. So how about, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I'll use this one right here. I don't want to um, send out any of the Christmas sheets in the oops bags anyway, just because obviously they'll be going after Christmas. So I need to pull all the Christmas stuff out of those anyway. So I'm gonna put this. Yeah, that's super cute. If you guys can see the lighting in here again everything's either too bright or not bright enough but and then I think what I want to do over this box is put in one of these ornament stickers so I'm gonna do this one with the snowflakes there we go that may have been a bit much but that's okay uh, so we do still have um, a few more but for Saturday and Sunday, I think I'm not gonna put these in at least yet, just so I can make sure I'm able to get in everything that I need, since those boxes are smaller, if you guys could see what I'm talking about. Um, and now, let's get rid of some stuff so I don't have so many things in my way. And then, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put another row of those bow headers right over top of my full boxes. Okay, so I got those down, and I did just do them over these, and these five, these five that light just went out oh boy um okay i'm gonna keep going because it's gonna take a while to get that light charged and by the time it's done i don't think i'm gonna want to do this so i'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit because i feel like this is just a tad bit close you can't really although i guess if i start working on this you'll want to see okay we'll leave it um like i said i don't have a huge plan for this week i'm not like totally positive what's gonna go on um I know what I need to get done, but I'm not too sure how I'm going to be working around everything else. So I think for the top, you guys, the camera just shut off. I'm pretty positive that I should just stop filming this now. Um, so this was a little bit too big, this three, for the, the spacing that I did here. So I think what I'm going to do instead is this whole section of boxes right here. There's six of those. I think I'm gonna do like just back and forth between the solid and the patterned up top. I think that will work. If I could lay anything down straight, which I, okay, that's not gonna happen though. Just keep going. Let's see. And hopefully the lighting is okay since that one light decided it was done. Um, both of my lights actually have like a plug for the wall, but the one after, I don't know, a month of having it decide, and that was one of my main, I did not like want lights that needed to run off a battery because that just doesn't make sense for what I use it for. So after maybe a month of having them, the one decided that it wasn't going to work with a plug anymore. And I don't know if it's the plug if, or what the problem is, but now... I have this one that I have to keep it charged, um, keep the battery packs charged, and I, I can't ever remember to like make sure that they're charged before I sit down to film. So that's why this is a constant problem. So I think now I'm going to do a row of these bow headers underneath my full boxes. Okay, so I did that, and I didn't go all the way across again because I don't know how that's going to work, so right now they're just on my hands. Um, I do think that one thing I'm going to go ahead and do is over here on Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and take this sticker and put it all the way at the bottom because I can make a list of what needs to start happening the next week. And actually, let's, well, no, that's weird. Um, do I have a sticker that says, you know, if I could find what I just did with the date numbers that I just had, that had something on it, I think that said next week, there we go. 
I'm gonna lay that right there. And then I'm probably not even gonna do anything else for Sunday. Um, I generally film on Sundays. I'm currently filming on a Saturday just because this week's gonna be kind of strange with the way that everything is working um, because of Christmas. So I'm gonna leave that that way and then we're gonna work backwards. So for Saturday, I'm gonna go ahead and stick in one of these three heart check or three bow checklists. Super cute. Um, and then underneath the bottom, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in this scalloped label. Also super cute. Um, and then, like I said, I'm just gonna go backwards. So on to Friday. The New Year's sale that we're doing, I don't know when to start it. You guys, if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below. Because I've got new releases scheduled for Friday, but then New Year's doesn't actually start until Tuesday. I don't wanna put up new releases and then on Tuesday have a huge sale because I don't want people to purchase them on Friday when they'll still be on sale on Tuesday because this particular sale is gonna be an unlimited stock sale for what I can do unlimited stock on, which will definitely be kits. Um, so I don't wanna do that. So should I start the sale on Friday? Should I not put up new releases until Tuesday? It just, I'm not too sure what to do. Um, I'll probably do a poll in the Facebook group as well, but if you guys have a preference, let me know in the comments below. So, I don't really want to put in that new releases are going to happen because I don't know yet. So for right now, I'm just going to put in, I'm not going to write actually, I'm going to get rid of this pin. I'm going to put that in and then down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put in one of these labels, which are super pretty. I like these patterns. I don't know if I've ever seen pattern before. Um, moving over to Thursday, I will want to do listings. And actually, Thursday would be a good day to do a checklist. I'm gonna do that checklist there and then this tiny little box right underneath. And I just saw how crooked this washi is. I no longer have use of my hands. Come here. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, it's ripping my page. Oh, it's ripping my page so badly. Ooh, okay. So now that I've ripped my entire insert, I'm gonna redo that piece of washi because that was just really, really off. Um, anyway, I've not talked too much about the New Year's sale, I don't think, other than in the Facebook group. So basically what's happening is Black Friday happens like a week before I was supposed to go to Disney. And normally Black Friday is our biggest sale of the year. And we do, you know, a lot of stuff. And unlimited stock is normally part of that so that things aren't selling out incredibly quickly. Um, but I couldn't do that since we were gonna be leaving. So I pulled the Facebook group and I asked if you guys wanted me to do like a Christmas sale or a New Year's sale. And majority did say New Year's. Um, so that's why the sale is happening. It's more or less to replace the Black Friday sale. Uh, just because I'm here, so now I can do... I don't want to say unlimited stock because it's not going to be totally unlimited because we are trying to phase out a lot of things, so I don't want to continue to cut the things that we're phasing out. But for the most part, it's going to be unlimited stock. Um, and I don't... I don't know. I don't want to talk about it too much because now I don't know 100% what it is exactly that we're going to do. But it's happening on New Year's or maybe a few days before so that it can kind of match up. But that is uh, what is happening as far as that sale goes. Um, and like I said, I knew I had talked about it a good bit in the Facebook group, and I just it's not something I've mentioned a ton anywhere else. But, yeah. I'm excited for it. And hopefully, well, not hopefully, things won't be selling out like they did for Black Friday because unlimited stock. Other than like things that are on sale. And then I'm not too sure what I want to do about clear foil yet. Because that's something that we're not going to be um, continuing to do here. So um, I think this is it for this right now, to be honest. So I want to put in a little bow right here. And then I basically have just done an outline that I'll be able to fill in throughout the week. Um, since I'm not totally sure what's going to be happening yet. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out. Okay, and here is the finished spread. I love how this turned out. I love um, Samantha May Sticks kits. I think her stuff is so incredibly pretty. Um, but yeah, so that is this week's spread in my B6. I'm sorry if this was a really weird video. I'm having a weird week. 
Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.